I'm Stu, I'm the lead vocals in Wolf Bites Boy. We're based in Stoke-on-Trent, Sheffield and Derby. So tell me, that was interesting, it was, a, it was acoustic punk. Yeah, it's the first time we've, we've really done anything like this. We've, we've been going for about three years now. We normally do like the sort of street punk oi sound and we wanted to put sort of like a different string to his bow and open more avenues and alleyways for all the other performing artists and stuff like that. All the songs that we do acoustically, we do uh, we play exactly the same as we do when we're plugged in as well. We don't want, that's what we didn't want to lose, the, the rawness and the intensity of each and every song. We wanted to do it just the same as it does acoustically because we thought when we first started to try acoustic punk, it started to sound a bit soppy and a bit shit to be honest, so we just thought, right, let's keep it noisy, let's keep it loud and let's keep it aggressive. We've been together for uh, since 2014, we started off as a three-piece and then we added Rob, who's our bass player, to the mix and uh, we've been going off from strength to strength then really, but a couple of us have been in bands together before for the, like, the last 25 years, so... The best gigs we do sometimes are the smallest gigs we do because it's quite intense when the crowd's sort of sat upon you I mean, we've played Rebellion twice, we're playing Rebellion again later on this summer, which is always good and it's, it's nice to get your sound across to like a greater, bigger audience, you've got more chance of doing that. But for me, sometimes the small sweaty places are the best places to play because we just go crackers. Was the first time you've been invaded by a pigeon? That's definitely, and I swear blind that's the pigeon that shot on my car when I got here because I well, literally left it for two minutes. There's a great big dirty stain on there, so I'm going to cost him later. Oh, well, the first time in Morecambe or not? No, I actually played in Morecambe with uh, another band with the same drummer and same guitarist with the Quiff. When I used to be in Destination Venus, that was in 2012 we played here on the outdoor stage. I actually like Morecambe, I used to come here on a, on a weekend trip when I used to live in Stoke-on-Trent uh, with the Sunday school, our Sunday school trip was up to Morecambe. You were in a Sunday school? I know, fucking hell, what happened? <laughs> Yeah, go to school, kids, go to Sunday school and always follow the church, honestly, it does the wonders for you. <laughs> and what happens uh, the rest of the summer and the future? So, in two weeks' time, we're in the recording studio, we're gonna, we've got a seven-track EP that we're going to be recording, and we're self-financing that, self-releasing it for the first time, and that's going to be out before we play Rebellion Festival in August. Well, good luck and thank you very much, it was an excellent gig. Cheers, thanks, Boris.